there's a very serious problem that's been um, experienced by people of late that is in the past few uh, years but getting very severe in the past few months it's hormone poisoning now um, things have changed the products that you trusted in before they're just not the same anymore so you have to understand that the vitality and the energy quality of spices of, of everything of everything starting from wheat to meat everything's changed the energy quality of all food everywhere has changed because of hormonal interference unnatural cultivation unnatural keeping of dairy animals and so on so what has happened is to supplement so that people keep buying the products because people will know this doesn't feel the same as before so to supplement the the companies have begun to add direct hormones from humans from fetuses from animals and god knows what else and where else they get those from but those are direct hormones and they affect us now these hormones are not um, the product of any process of nature they are stress hormones they are released through stress through very stressful uh, situations that are artificially created to make that animal or that human or that fetus um, release adrenaline because right now the world population does not react to anything but strong adrenaline so therefore these hormones are very very strong adrenaline hormones associated with stress hormones like cortisol and so on so the effect that they have on our bodies is not normal it's not um, just estrogen or it's not just adrenaline it comes with a consciousness of shock which the animal or the person experienced at the time of the hormonal extraction it comes with anxiety panic and this strong working up adrenalizing intense experience results in a depression that comes after it because what goes up has to come down so if you stress the body like that soon a depression will follow now to deal with this we have to understand how our own body reacts to stress every person reacts to stress differently to shock differently some people have digestive upsets the second they go into shock some people have bleeding uterine bleeding hemorrhaging some people feel giddy some people stop breathing properly some people have abdominal cramping you know what is your body pattern so as i go through the next um few points you need to have a part of your mind checking out how do i react when i experience shock think of the times you've had shock in your life how did you react think of the times you've had anxiety how did you react so now let's get to those things the three stages of hormonal poisoning in your body caused by a product not by an actual incident but caused by something you've eaten or drunk are shock or terror anxiety and panic and depression now you don't always know you're in shock or terror unless you have experienced something that could have caused it you're just sitting in your house you're watching television or you're just eating something and you have shock you might not register that what you have is shock or terror but your body will and this is why you need to know how you and your body deal with shock now a lot of people experience shock as heart pain a lot of people experience shock as 
a very severe headache so you need to know how to do that and then after you've seen this video there's a link below where you can click on herbs for these different things you need to get these herbs you need to combine them into a bottle a small little drop of bottle you need to put that in your handbag or your pocket or your laptop bag or something you keep with you so that every time you experience shock wherever you are and you say oh my body is now reacting to shock you can use that put those drops in a bit of water and have it and deal with the situation. As you do this, you'll start developing immunity. And you'll find that a whole lot of problems you thought were very big in your life are actually blown out of proportion in your mind because you've dealt with the hormonal poisoning that, that causes and increases stress very badly. Now, the next thing is anxiety and panic. Anxiety and panic cause hormonal fluctuation in the body. Blood pressure rising and falling. Blood sugar rising and falling. Hormonal imbalances like hot flushes. Interest in something and then suddenly you're no longer interested in it. Fluctuation. When you see unnatural fluctuation, you could be experiencing anxiety and panic. You might not register it because you do not or might not know of any particular cause of it. Then you take herbs that help with anxiety and panic. They're in the links below. Or you do things that help you deal with anxiety and panic, whatever that is, breathing exercises. A nice drink, not one of those which cause more harm, but uh, naturally made nice drink beer is made from hops so well-made beer can reduce stress so something like that you have to see what helps you deal with anxiety and panic the last one is depression now the effects of depression are obvious you're not you're just not that interested in doing things you're just don't have the spark right so that's depression in the body physically depression shows in a drop in vital energy and immunity so if you suddenly got this infection you're an otherwise healthy person who does a fair amount of exercise you know that you have experienced some sort of depression so herbs and foods that bring up your vitality and lift up your immunity they are first aid for depression always you're feeling very bad have a cup of rose hips tea have something vitamin C have something that you know your body feels better with okay now the important thing about depression is this the effect of depression repeatedly over a period of weeks even though you might not have registered it is a lessening in sexual energy and by that I just don't mean libido I mean hormonal processes of the body and quality of new cells in the body which means if your body was making cells of a certain type let's say hair cells after you go through depression the quality of that starts decreasing because the body just isn't that interested and there isn't that much vitality so that is what is called the effects of aging. The effects of aging are nearly always the effects of depression, which is nearly always caused by a lack of vitality, which in our times is nearly always hormonal poisoning. So if you can actually identify foods that cause you hormonal poisoning and interference, you can reverse and you can stop so many things happening that you don't have to live with and which are not part of aging, which are not part of normal life. So that's something very important to keep in mind. Any other information that you need is in the link.